Hey everybody. I want to tell you about two really exciting dreams that I had this week. This was just a few nights ago. I've been pondering the dreams and asking God about them and praying praying about the dreams. Um, but I figured I'd share it because they're just so amazing, so exciting. Um, <clears throat> this was this was on 12-11. I dreamed <clears throat> I was in California with, in a field with a bunch of people. I was looking up at the sky when I saw something falling. At first I thought it was a plane, but then I realized it was a vehicle. It was a cargo van and it was coming straight at us. And as I watched it fall, it started to fall. It veered away from us and landed in a field, but it was a cargo van and it crashed violently to the ground. And I kept looking up at the sky and I saw airplanes going up overhead and there were airplanes everywhere but there were uh there were vans cargo vans falling out of all of them and uh i i went and got my boy eleazar uh, which means god is my help and i said eleazar we're under attack we got to get out of here and that was the end of the dream so i i began to ponder that dream for a couple for, well no that that whole day and I'm like god what does that mean what is I don't know what this dream means I need you to tell me what it means obviously it was about an, an attack and planes dropping things from the second heaven you know it's an it's attack from the enemy um but I still don't didn't know exactly what it meant so <clears throat> the next night I asked god for another dream I said if that dream was from you I ask you for another dream, that you would confirm it with another dream. So this is the really exciting dream. Um, the next night I went to sleep after that prayer and I, and I prayed, um, had this dream. I was in a military, uh, I was in China and I was getting off of a plane in China. I was with a delegation of people and we were going there I was on Trump, Donald Trump's team, and we were going to China um, to prepare for his arrival, for Donald Trump's arrival. And so I was, I was with a delegation there, and we walked. I got off the pl an airplane and walked into a military base. And I walked into the front desk, and I told the guy at the front desk, I said, "We're here to meet with President Xi. We have a meeting with him. We're looking for him." And so the, the little, it was a little boy at the front desk, little boy dressed in a military uniform. And he, so he toddled off to get um, someone else. And an elderly man then came back. They were all Chinese people. Of course, we were in China. And an elderly Chinese man came back with a group of people and they were all smiling. And I told him, I said, uh, we're here to meet with President Xi. We have a meeting with him. Where, can you tell me where to find him? And uh, one gal who was standing there, she said, President Xi, she said, you didn't know? She said, President Xi accepted Jesus as his Lord and Savior two months ago. And they were all began to smile. The whole group began to smile. And I just in my dream i was just in awe of god and i walked out of the room and i walked outside and i began to praise the lord and bring into worship and weep just thanking god for for this miracle for this news and uh, i woke up from that dream right then i woke up in tears and i just began to pray it was about 3 30 in the morning and i just got up and i just began to pray and intercede for president xi and for china and for his family Anyway, those are the two dreams. <clears throat> but then as I, as after I woke up and I, God, and I wrote that second dream down, God revealed to me the first dream, the meaning of it. He said, uh, what did he say? He said, it means uh, the enemy's plans are backfiring on them. They're losing all their cargo. He said, they're losing all their merchandise all the stuff that they had planned they're losing it all it's all falling out of their planes <laughs> their cargo their cargo vans 
So their 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 plans are falling apart. Cargo vans falling from the sky. Their their plans are falling apart. Um that's pretty cool. But for the so for the last few days I've been praying for President Xi and his family and his that God would save every one of them. Jesus would would speak to them in dreams and visions. So and just radically change China in Jesus name so pray with me real quick I'm gonna I want to pray this prayer father in Jesus name we lift up President Xi and we surround him with your mighty angels who excel in strength who do your word and listen to your voice speak to him in dreams and visions and every one of his family members save all of them save his sons and daughters save his wife save his grandchildren in Jesus name and work powerfully through President Xi in China, Lord, to to tur to turn the communist Chinese Communist Party upside down and in disarray and in confusion in Jesus' name, and let there be freedom for the people of China, true freedom because of this. Let this begin be the beginning of a of an earthquake of a shaking in China. Shake the Chinese Communist Party until there's nothing left of them in Jesus' name. And I, when I woke up from the dream about Xi, President Xi, I, um, I heard this verse. It says, The king's heart is like channels of water in the hand of the Lord. He turns it wherever he wishes. That's Proverbs 21.1. The king's heart is like channels of water in the hand of the Lord. He turns it wherever he wishes. Don't you know God can do anything? God can do anything. All things are possible. And this is the year of justice that we're in right now. This is the year of justice. This is God's justice. Saving kings, turning their hearts to Jesus like water. Um, and then when this morning, as I was reading... Um, my daily Bible I'm in the book of Acts right now and it was so cool because God spoke to me about President Xi again as I was reading I was reading the part where uh, during um, Paul the Apostle Saul, Saul's conversion when Jesus met him on the road and blinded him and revealed himself, himself to Saul um so I was reading that story and I came across this verse where God tells Ananias to go pray for Saul to receive his sight. Here's and Ananias said, Hey, this guy Saul, he's a bad guy. He's killed he's killed and imprisoned a bunch of us. And and God says this to Ananias. He says, This man is my chosen instrument. To carry my name before the Gentiles and their kings and before the people of Israel. I will show him how much he must suffer for my name. And when I read that, the Holy Spirit said, this is about she. This is she, President Xi. This man, he said, President Xi is my chosen instrument to carry my name before the Gentiles and their kings and before the people of Israel. I will show him how much he must suffer for my name. Hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Bless him. Bless President Xi. Save him powerfully and radically. Pray with me real quick again. Father, we lift up the nation of China. We lift up the people of China. We lift up the Chinese people, Lord. Every single one of them. And we cover them in your blood, Jesus. And we declare a major shaking now in the Chinese Communist Party. Major violent shaking in the Chinese Communist Party in Jesus' name. And we pray for President Xi. Surround him with your angels and protect him, all of his family, him and his wife. And speak to them powerfully. Speak to him powerfully. And reveal yourself. Let him carry your name, Jesus, throughout all the world from here on and forever. In Jesus' name, we thank you for this. Isn't that good news? <laughs> I love it. 
God can do anything he wants to do. And he is. He's doing it because he loves the people of China. And he loves President Xi too. Um, so don't... <clears throat> I expect to see a major shakeup in the CCP very soon. <clears throat> I wouldn't be surprised if President Xi gets kicked out of the Communist Party or he steps down or something. So look for that to happen. Maybe not, but I wouldn't be surprised. I love you guys. Uh, be well, be encouraged. God is moving powerfully in our nation, in the USA, and in China, and in every nation. He's doing awesome things, like always. All right, I love you guys. Be well. Be at peace.